Today we'll be sketching the graph of the parabola f of x equals x squared plus 6x minus 1. Note that the leading coefficient is positive, so this parabola will open up. Our first step is we can find the x value of the vertex, which is also the axis of symmetry, by doing negative b over 2a, which gives us x equals negative 3 as our axis of symmetry. To find the y value of the vertex, we're going to plug negative 3 back into our equation for x. So we get negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3 minus 1. And we end up with f of negative 3 is negative 10. This makes our vertex the point negative 3, negative 10. So here on the graph, this is our axis of symmetry. And then our vertex is at the point negative 3, negative 10. The next thing we can find is our y-intercept. We can plug in a 0 for x, and this will tell us where it crosses the y-axis. Plugging in 0 tells us that it passes through the point 0, negative 1. That is here on our graph, and because of the symmetry of the parabola, we know that the point negative 6, negative 1 will also be on the parabola. Next, we can find the x-intercepts by plugging in a 0 for y. Since this cannot be factored, we have to use our quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. This ends up giving you x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 10. This is not very easy to graph though, so we'll plug it into our calculators. We get the point 0 0.160 and negative 6.160. So those points are about here and here. We still don't have a lot of information about what our parabola looks like near the vertex. So if we plug in the point negative 2, we get out a negative 9. By symmetry, we know that we'll also have the point negative 4, negative 9, and this gives us a little more information to have a more accurate sketch. Now we can connect those lines, not with a straight line, but with this curve, and that is the sketch of our parabola.